Hello everyone, this is Ankita. I am your digital transformation coach. Today I am going to show you how you can use Microsoft Teams for organizing the files and folders in your files tab in a team. So in one of our previous videos, we saw how to create the folder and how to create the different files using the new option in the files tab. So now after creating all these files and we understand that these were created for a particular quarter, the PowerPoint slide and the Excel spreadsheet. While the checklist for content is something that would more or less remain same for the entire period and uh, this is something that we would want to keep uh, referring to frequently. As well as this uh, checklist for content might get updated over the period of time. So how do we ensure that this structure is being maintained and because it brings more clarity while working, it enhances uh, your productivity, it cuts down on the digital clutter which is there. So in order to do that, in order to achieve that, what all we have to do is, we have to click on these three dots about which we talked in the previous videos as well. We have to choose the option of move. On clicking move, it gives me the option of staying in the same uh, folder or by clicking on this icon, I can navigate to some other folder as well. For this video specifically, we are going to stay in the same folder. I'll choose quarter and here you can see that all there is no other file at this moment in this folder. It was a blank folder when we created. So uh, there is nothing here and we'll just choose to move it. And from here you can see that file has gone and we have got this message, this notification rather that one ha file has been moved. After this we again choose this dot and we choose the option of moving and we choose quarter here and you can see that uh, the file that we just moved is right here. While its modification timestamp has not been changed, who modified it has not been changed, its size is the same. So depending on how you move it, it doesn't change the file history in terms of the timestamp or person who modified the, the file, who worked on that file the last time. So now I choose the moving option and again we get the notification and the file has been moved. Now when we click on this quarter Q1, as expected, it shows both the files here and it gets our work done. Now in order to move back to the original folder, I have to click on the chan channel here and we can come back. Now for the sake of understanding, if in the quarter we again create a new folder, and we move this particular file in this folder so there is a nice breadcrumb that has got created the navigation and we get it moved in the plans and we click on the plans we get this navigation on the top and the file inside it now if i need to straight away go to the general I can click on this and I straight away go to the topmost hierarchical uh, folder or if I just want to move one step back or in the previous folder I just need to choose the quarter Q1. So that navigation across different folders or files is pretty easy similar to what you have been using with the folders on your desktop with the file system with the operating system that you might have been using so that's that's the ease of working with teams that's the ease of working with your files your file management using teams that nice structure that it brings in depending on your working style depending on your teams management this team structure is something that a IT team or the leaders in an organization can choose to dictate and maintain or an individual uh, can choose to uh, decide for the different channels uh, that project lead, team lead, project manager can choose to decide. So this is where the flexibility of working with teams comes into play that uh, you decide how it works 
at the same time security is maintained because all the conversations and these uh, files that are being created the conversations that are happening remains within your domain as you might have seen with all the files that we created that we uh, worked on in the previous videos that i showed to you you saw that save to sharepoint was visible which means this in this entire structure of the files and the folders is being maintained on the sharepoint and that is where the role of this uh, option open in sharepoint comes into play so this is something that we are going to cover in next set of videos stay tuned Keep watching Photon Academy, subscribe to our channel, share the details about this video with your co-workers, uh, with your teammates, if you would want your team to actually grow with you and become more collaborative, more efficient in the task objectives that needs to be achieved. Thank you.